Yo! What are you doing? Oh. Yo! <laughs> Mr. Patel, I out, think you're... Out, out, out of the way. way. Look away. Look away. These thieving types, <laughs> have they no brains? Don't they see I have the latest electronic devices? Movement sensors. And very soon. What? What did they take? My new CCTV camera. Huh? It's establishments like yours that are bringing in these burglar types. Burglars? My salon. Idle fools with time on their hands who don't want to work for their living. How else can they sit about in your chair full of chit-chat? As for you, why not just put up a sign? Number one riff-raff assembly point. Where you get detectives, there you will find crime. Out. 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 The number one ladies detective agency dedicates itself to the righting of wrongs. Uh, me too. Bad hair leads to depression, sometimes to violence. I think the entire world would benefit from a day off at the hairdressers. Nonsense. Call the glass man and wait for him right here. And you, keep your villainous clients away from this building. Mara Motsue and I are very close to cracking the mystery of the Halle Hill break-ins. Is this true? A breakthrough is imminent. A 500 pula reward if you flush out the felons. You know this lady detective, yeah? Maramos, your opinion of her? She's an excellent detective. Hmm. She says she can crack the burglary problems at Halle Hill. Well, if, if, if that's what she says, then uh, that's how it will be. Now, I detect more than mere acquaintance in your assessment. It was weird. <sighs> You are smitten. I found a space in the diary. Have you told her your feelings? Uh, but first, I will need to order the device. Mr. Matacone. She turned me down, Mr. Patel. Press your case. My wife was very disinclined to marry a shopkeeper. My campaign was targeted and effective. Show drive. Show ambition. Sat nerves. High-tech equipment. A white coat instead of a blue overall. Get rid of this oil and grease. Move into the modern age. A, a white? One step at a time. Update on the crime wave, ma. Oh, <laughs> pressure of work has been too intense. Mm. Business is booming then. Era, <laughs> and yours? Very much so. something else. I want you to come to my house tonight. 7.15 sharp. I have reason to believe she's seeing a boy at 16. Hmm. Have you asked her? When she's 20 and her education is complete, I will arrange a good match for her. These plans do not include fraternizing with boys of her own choosing while still a schoolgirl. These are modern times, Mr. Patel. Are you sure it's a good idea for a parent to spy on his children? You have no children of your own? A childless woman must take the word of one who knows better. You want me to find out if she's seeing a boy? And I want to know who the boy is. Now, what is the news on my daughter? She was in school all day, mm -hmm. and then she walked home with friends. Maybe she will slip out again tonight. Tonight I'm not working. I'm very tired, and my vein is broken down. But tonight may be the night. Mr. Patel, my daddy trusted me. He did not feel the need to follow me. And you ended up married to Not Mukoti.
Perhaps you should fit your daughter with one of these machines. Then you will always know where she's going. If I did that, I would have no need of you. <laughs> You'll stick with the case after your night off? I will. And I will make no mention of the Halle Hill break-ins. <laughs> No, no, I will deal with this. Nandira, you stay in your room like I told you. Come in, ma. Before you say anything, I know my daughter blew your cover. Do me laugh, ma. You sent him to spy on me? No, I was being proactive. I may have mentioned my worries about Jack. I consider little Jackie taken care of. He has used information technology to trace all the boys named Jack in Hebroni. Each will be receiving a letter. Nandira Patel is off limits. You are happy to be associated with these men, with his letters and threats. What next? Proactive beatings in dark alleys? If this Jack has any sense, it'll never come to that. And if he hasn't, if he's head over heels in love and has totally lost all common sense. Is that the case? What do you know, Ma? Tell me. I talked to your daughter. <laughs> you had no choice. She sat down right next to you. In my opinion, what this case needs is more talk and not so many detectives. Well, what did you find out? There is no check. She made him up. Nonsense. She has drawn a blank and now she's desperate. He's too good to be true. A boy who smothers his love notes with kisses, who, who is a perfect balance of, of steadiness and excitement. She's lying. They're in it together. And who uses the same pink note paper that make up the pages of Nandira's diary. Why would she do this? Why would she put me through this? Nandira, perhaps you would answer your father's question. See? They are in this together. Will you please keep quiet? You've got it all mapped out for me. You are the owner of my life, not me. I want the best for you. I know what the world is like. You don't. You don't know my world. That is why I hire detectives. You just need to ask. When I ask, you don't tell me or you make things up. So that I can have something that you can't get hold of. And now you have, and it's gone. 